Hello, and welcome back to another Discord.py rewrite tutorial. So, today I'm going to be going over how to keep your Python bot running outside of your text editor. Um, a lot of people on the Discord that I have have asked how I do it and what would, what would I recommend. I don't know if I would recommend this way because I don't ever turn off my computer, so... The only time my computer gets off is if the power goes out or I need to update my computer um, for any other reason. Um, but yeah, I just it, this only works if you keep your computer on 24/7 or the bot just won't be on unless you have like a little computer on the side that you just always keep on or something. Um, but this is how I do it. So what I would do is so I have my code here. I can run it in here so I can run. It'll run. Give it a second here. Alrighty, so there it ran. Whatever it works in here, but I don't want it to keep running in here. I don't want to keep this up and and uh, all that stuff. So what we're gonna, do, what I do is I was like, all right, I'm done with this bot. I'm gonna keep it running. So I would do um, oh, wrong thing. Hold up. I copy it. Let me stop that. All right, and then over on this here, I have a little folder. So this is just my test folder on my hard drive. And say this is where I wanted to keep the bot, I would paste it in here. And so I've got it in there, and then I would make a new text document. I'll name it start. Alright, and you want to open it up. And start um, editing. So over in here, as you can see, we have imports here. So we have import the Discord and YouTube DL. Those are the only two we have to worry about. This other stuff just comes with uh, Python and stuff like that. So, uh... What I do is I usually just go, okay, so I need pip install discord.py, or actually no, install dash capital U discord.py voice. Alright, and then I need pip install youtube dash dl, and then I'm going to do pip install dash up dash dash up grade youtube dash dl all right so what that's going to do is what we're going to make is a dot bat all right a start dot bat it's not text right now but we'll make it a dot bat here in a minute so what a dot bat does is it goes line by line and it types in a command into the command line so what we're going to first do is we're going to have it updated or basically just make sure it's installed and then make sure and then try to install this and then upgrade it and if those are already on your computer and installed that'll just it'll see that and just go by and be like already required and stuff like that they're already uh, on the computer basically so and then we're going to do python and then after python you put a space and you want to do basically the name of this so we're going to do discord underscore voice dot pi Alrighty, so that's basically all you need. So I do that, then I hit save, and then you come down here and you want to rename it again. Don't touch the start. Do dot bat instead of dot text. And then this will pop up. It, oh, yes. It'll turn into this. This doesn't need to be start. It can be anything else, but the dot bat needs to be there. And the text inside of it needs to be there. So you hit that, and then this will pop up. This is, as you see, it typed in that. And then it did that, and it says requirements already satisfied. All right, we've already got that. And it does pip install that, or requirements already satisfied. And it tries to upgrade and goes up to date. And then it does this, and it starts running the bot. As you can see, it is running. Now, I don't really like any of this nasty stuff up here, but it's I, I like to do it before I run all my bots. So what I would do is whenever we close this, we can go right-click on this and do edit. We can type in CLS here, or... We can do a little bit neater in our code here. We can type in, so make sure you have imp from OS import system, right? First thing it does is you type system, and then you do CLS here. So this will start running it, import all these, and then it will just clear the system. Alrighty, so then once you make a change to this, make sure it's saved, and then you want to copy this again. Come back over here, delete this. And then paste it back in. 
we have the new updated version and then do this so then we're doing all this again so we're about doing that doing that and then it's going to do this it's going to run it clear it and then run it see that's how i do it and then i just kind of just on my on my other monitor i kind of just leave them up like this on a like a four square and that's pretty much all I do. Alrighty, hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, join the Discord. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video.